Hey there, Canonites, welcome back. Before we begin, this guide deals a lot with the lore surrounding the data pads, so if you want a straightforward guide, check the card to the top right or the link in the description box. Anyway, for the more canon curious folk, the data pads were basically Halo Reach's version of the terminals from Halo 3. Scattered throughout the campaign, they reveal the story of a person driven mad by secret knowledge and a conspiracy by a group of artificial minds that have been guiding humanity since at least the 24th century. Every level except for Lone Wolf has two data pads, with Lone Wolf only having one. Data pads 1 through 9 can be found on any difficulty, while data pads 10 through 19 can be found on Legendary only. We'll go over how to find them in the intended reading order, then talk a bit more about the story they tell. The data pads can only be read in game, they don't unlock anything that can be accessed from the game's menu, so it's not a bad idea to clear an area of enemies before hunting for the pads. With that, let's dive in. As stated, these first nine can be acquired on any difficulty, even easy. Data pad one is found on Winter Contingency. Either play to the moment where you get access to the spade, right after you encounter the first elites, or load up Rally Point Alpha on Winter Contingency. Drive to this structure, and in the building to the immediate right, by some dead bodies, is the datapad. Datapad 2 can be found on Oni's sword base, you can load up Rally Point Bravo to save some time. Inside sword base, go up to the second level, cross the bridge, and under these stairs, you'll find the datapad. Datapad 3 can be found at the very beginning of the level Nightfall. Simply follow this path to the right, and you'll find it. Datapad 4 can be found on the level Tip of the Spear, inside the mining facility. You can load up Rally Point Alpha to save a little time. At the end of this section, just before you can get some ghosts and a revenant, the datapad will be on a shelf near some crates. Datapad 5 can be found in the Saber Launch Facility on Long Night of Solace. In the control room where you'll see this hollow table, head to the left. Up these stairs and by a dead soldier is the data pad. Data pad 6 can be found on the level Exodus. Get to the point where you first get a jetpack or load up Rally Point Alpha to save some time. After you jump across to the Covenant with some ODSTs, fly up to this construction platform and you'll find the data pad next to a dead body. Datapad 7 can be found on New Alexandria. Head towards Olympic Tower, which is where the final fight of the level takes place, but do this before the final fight, and you'll see this building just beyond it with a big gap in it. On the north face of the roof, you'll find five vent structures. Near this door between two of them is the datapad. Datapad 8 can be acquired on the package, towards the end of the first section. Follow the waypoint on your HUD, but rather than pressing the switch it leads you to, turn to your left and just behind the entrance is the datapad. And Datapad 9 can be found on the level Pillar of Autumn. Enter the main building just after the Boneyard section of the level, and follow the halls until you arrive at this window. Shoot the window out, crouch jump into the room, and on a table on the back will be the datapad. Next up are datapads 10 through 19, which can only be acquired on legendary difficulty. Datapad 10 can be acquired at the very start of the first level winter contingency. At the bottom of this hill is a cloaked spec ops elite running from the left. Sprint a couple of times until you see him and try to hit him with your pistol. If you run out of ammo before he goes down, Switch to your AR immediately and burst fire to take him out. This will take several tries, but you'll eventually get it. Datapad 11 can be found on the second level Oni Sword Base. Either play to the moment when you encounter the Wraiths, or load up Rally Point Alpha. Once you get the Warthog, drive east or left towards the communications array. In the building where you would activate the comms array, head to the top floor and you'll come to this little outcropping here. Jump from the building to the rock face opposite you and you'll find the data pad just a little ways towards the ocean. Data pad 12 can be found on the level Nightfall when you come across the Reach Militia fighting the Covenant at the waterfront. 
You can also load up Rally Point Alpha for this level to save some time. Instead of engaging, stick to the cliff on the left, jump over this wall and continue to the valley to skip the firefight. Jump the rocks on the right side of the cliff like so, I found that timed uses of sprint can be very helpful. Follow the path shown on screen and you'll find the data pad. Data pad 13 can be found on tip of the spear, just after the mining facility at the second anti-air installation you encounter, on this piece of bridge with a warthog on it. Simply hop up these pillars onto the road and you'll find the data pad. Data pad 14 can be found in the Saber launch facility on Long Night of Solace. Just before you enter the Saber, turn to your left and jump across this gap. Then crouch jump up this scaffolding, meaning literally crouch as you jump because you won't fit otherwise. Turn around, jump over to the structure behind you, turn around again, head up this ramp, and there you'll find the data pad. Data pad 15 can be found on the level Exodus. Play until you get to the section with the Jackal Snipers, and the data pad is on these air vents. To get there, head to this area that says New Alexandria Concourse, and fly onto this railing. Continue up until you get to the highest railing you can reach. Then jump to these black pipes, which you can see have no collision. From there, jump to this window ledge and finally to the air vent, where you'll find your data pad. Data Pad 16 can be found on the level New Alexandria. At the very start of the level as you take off, turn around immediately and head to this building just behind you. Around minus 130 altitude, you'll see the data pad on this ledge. You'll have to get your Falcon's nose as close to the building as possible, pop out, and then grab the data pad. Data Pad 17 can be found on the level of the package in the final section when you defend Halsey's lab. You can load up Rally Point Bravo for the package to make things easier. Grab a jetpack from outside the lab, then head back towards the turret, turret C if that helps. Run past it onto the ice until you arrive at this building and a huge gap. Use the jetpack sparingly to jump across the gap to this ice shelf here, where you'll find the data pad. Datapad 18 can be found on the level Pillar of Autumn, in the area that's used as the map Boneyard in multiplayer. You can load up Rally Point Alpha to get here quicker. Head to this central structure, up the stairs, then up and across this conveyor belt. Hang right when you get to the main building, hop onto this roof, and around the corner to the left is the datapad. And the 19th and final datapad is available on the level Lone Wolf. As soon as the level loads, Sprint straight towards these pipes. Head up this ramp, jump across the platform, turn right, and carefully hop across these orange pillars to the pipe. Just through a drain guard, you'll see the final data pad. And that will get you all the data pads in Halo Reach. Alternatively, you can read them all on Halopedia, but the MCC version of Reach has an achievement for each data pad, plus a final achievement for getting all of them, so it's worth looking at them at least once. Each data pad begins with a message from an unknown person. This individual came to reach at a point unknown on a ship with, quote, colonists from dead worlds. Either he himself is a refugee from a glassed world, or he came to reach with refugees. Either way, he eventually stumbled upon the Assembly, a group of artificial intelligences that have been secretly guiding humanity since at least the 24th century. These are human-made AIs, heavily implied to be smart AIs, so the makeup of the assembly must change since AIs of that nature can only live for seven years at a time, but their goal remains unchanged over centuries. Through the datapads we see that they guided humanity towards the Spartans, 
that a rogue member may have reached out to the Covenant and started the Human Covenant War in an effort to help humanity in the long run. We see that they kept the existence of Onyx hidden because of the Forerunner relics found there, that they would sacrifice low population colonies to determine Covenant operational patterns and try to design more effective countermeasures. They did all this in an effort to guide humanity to something greater. An unknown human discovered the activities of these AI and left pads all over Reach to be found. Thanks to a catalog post in 2014, we know that canonically, Noble Six did find these data pads, though the accuracy of them was called into question in the same post. In addition to an intriguing story, the data pads also contain reversed Forerunner messages, which I'll play now. The data pads remain one of Halo's greatest mysteries, and I know several in the lore community would love to see them explored again someday. With the AI uprising and the current Halo story going on, it would have seemed like a great time to do just that. But that seems unlikely at this point. Maybe one day, though. Anyway, how do you feel about the data pads and the story they tell? Let me know in the comments below. This is all for now, and I'll leave you with raw footage of the data pads to read through, if you wish. But until next time, this has been Halo Cannon.
Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and if you really love me, hit that notification bell and leave a thumbs up. These both really help out the channel. I wouldn't be where I am now without your views and support, so once again, thank you. Keep on being awesome, Canaanites.